Now, hi there. This episode of Para Breakdown is brought to you by 101 Things to Make with Human Skin, now available at all Rexall Drugs. I saw this post by Ryan Tremblay, who wrote, quote, Now these just dropped a while ago, allegedly taken from a cellular trail cam, Nashok, Minnesota. Unquote. Well, gosh, that is exactly what it looks like to me. Offhand, I can see no reason that this wasn't taken by a trail cam. Uh, it was taken in late July and about 9 p.m. That may look a bit strange, but I know that a good trail cam has three types of exposures. Full daylight will be in color. Low light, like in dusk, will cause the camera to change from color to black and white. And finally, full darkness, which will cause the camera to use IR illuminators. Since this was around dusk, it seems legit for this to be in black and white. As far as what it could be, I applied some filters to the shot to see if some obvious manipulation took place. Metadata and string extraction looked normal. Uh, I did notice this, however. Uh, it almost looks like someone performed a copy and paste into the shot here. But I think that this is a photo anomaly that shows up from time to time, and it's not very accurate. This doesn't mean I don't have questions. Uh, are those actual arms we see or an illusion caused by grass and weeds? What happens when we remove the foliage? It does look like it has a face, but a face of what? Could this just be a burnout stump like we've seen before? Why don't we see a before and after shot of the scene to confirm this? You know, a here one second and gone the next sort of thing? If we know who took this, we could ask, but we don't. Why not? How high was the camera placed? To me it looks like it's several feet above whatever this is, giving us a downward view of it. So for me, I don't think it's a Bigfoot. It could possibly be a small bear, and it could also likely be a stump. Thanks for watching. Oh.